After what happened to Karasu, MC went to their room. They spent almost of the time inside of it for a whole week. MC, open the door, it's time to go the rad. It have been a week and you didn't go. Sigh. Are they not going to rad today too? Lucifer Shakit his head says no. MC. Please at least eat your breakfast. I brought it up here with me. Please open the door. Your health is much important than anything else. MC. I bought your favorite game. Here come out to see the cover. It's so cool. Your favorite character is on it. Let's play it together. Huh. Huh. MC didn't answer on my calls or messages. I'm afraid that something happened to MC. What? MC. Can you hear me? Open the door. Step away mammon, I'll break the door down. MC opened the door. MC. Are you okay? Do you need something? We'll bring it to you right away. Oh MC, my darling you look so pale. Here MC. Your breakfast, I save it for you, cause I know you didn't eat well in the past days. I'm fine, everyone thank you for your concern. Are you sure? Yes. MC. We did your homeworks that you missed from the past few days. And don't worry about your absence, I've talked to Diavolo about that. Thank you Lucifer. MC, come on, let's eat the breakfast and go together to Rad. I don't feel that I want to eat. I'll just go straight to Rad. MC left the brothers and went downstairs heading out to Rad. MC, wait for me. I'm coming with you. MC and Asmo walked to Rad. Lucifer called Asmo and told him to keep his eye on MC and take care of them. Later, at dinner time, everyone were in the house. The brothers were sitting around the dining table. MC were in their room refusing to get downstairs and eat dinner. Asmo, how's MC today? They didn't talk too much like before. Even I showed to them my new pictures can you imagine that Lucifer? Even Solomon waved hi to them but they didn't notice Solomon. They're still upset. From what? All of the brothers turned their heads toward Mammon. You're kidding, right? I don't know what you are talking about. Turned his head into another direction. It's because of what you've done to Karasu. How would I know that he'll vanish? I didn't mean to do that to him. But you wanted to hit him. You all liked what you saw in that moment? We all didn't like when Karasu kissed MC. But look at MC's situation right now. I hate to see MC being sad. What about to bring Karasu back for MC? What a stupid idea. Asmo. What are you saying? Even if we wanted to bring him back MC used a strong spell in the last time. We should find a stronger one. If that would MC make happy let's bring him back. I'm going to look up for a strong spell after dinner. What? We must to put MC's happiness in the first place, no matter what. You know what? I don't want to hear this bullshit, I'm out of here. Mammon. Mammon threw the fork and the spoon on his plate, standing up and walking to his room. Leaving his brothers. While Mammon was heading to his room he stopped at MC's door and closer his ear to hear MC. MC were looking to their DDD. Karasu. I hope you are hearing me right now. How are you today? Are you feeling lonely? I wish that I could see you. A notification came up. MC started to sob. Are they crying? Mammon continued his way to his room. After a while, someone knocked the main door of the house off. Lamentation. I'm coming, I'm coming. Levi opened the door. Huh? Hi. Who's there Levi? Solomon? I came here as fast as I could. For what? For MC. Mammon told me everything, I mean I freaked out when he called me, cause he's rarely call me. Mammon? Mammon. Is that true? Oi. You came late. I was looking up in my spells book and I found the most suitable spell for this. Mammon. This is a sweet initiative from you. I think I'm still dreaming. That was unexpected. Yeah yeah, thanks me later. Now we should start. Solomon and the brothers were talking in the common room. MC were walking nearby and heard them. What are you doing? Solomon? Why are you here? MC. Come here please. MC walked to them closer. We thought and we decided. About what? Each brother looked to another and nodded. We'll help you to see Karasu again. What? You can finally see him again MC. B but why? We don't want to see you sad anymore. If that makes you happy. We'll support you. We love you MC. We don't want to be the reason of making you sad. We've figured out a spell that you can see him privately so you can say whatever you want to him. It'll be a short time though, that's what we can do, MC. Guys. You surprised me. Thank you. 
You can thank Mammon, he's the one who called Solomon for you. Mammon? Yes, the great Mammon who solves your problem, you can thank me later human. MC hugged Mammon. Thank you Mammon. You are truly my first. Mammon smiled and hugged MC back. Hey, I'm the one who said this idea. Solomon made a huge magical portal hole in the air using MC's DDD. It's ready. Now go. MC nodded and jumped into the magical hole. It was dark and quiet. MC were looking everywhere. MC. Is that you? MC turned their body to face Karasu. Karasu. H how did you come here? Solomon and the demon brothers helped me. Oh you mean Solomon the wizard person? I remember him. You came here to see me? Yes, listen. I can't stay here for a long time, the spell will finish in any minute. I came here cause I missed you. The tears streamed from MC's eyes. MC. My dear. Please don't cry. You don't know how much I missed you. I still don't want to lose you again. We'll be meet again, and I'll never let you go. Karasu's voice was cracking. You are the reason that I could survive, and live alone here. Your beautiful face and smile makes me more happy each time I see you through the screen. Even if you can't hear me or see me, I'll be right here, guiding you, and helping you. You're precious. You're special. Karasu wiped his teary eyes with his hand. I have a wish. What is it? Please don't be sad, I want to see your smile every day. Each time you look to your DD, I'll do it if you promised me. That you'll come back. I promise. The magical hole came out of nowhere. The time is about to out. Karasu hugged MC. I'll miss you. I love you. I love you too Karasu. MC spoke with shaky breath. Karasu broke the hug and pulled MC to another hug. MC could feel his warmth, his breath, his touch. Live happily for me. MC. I'll wait for you. Karasu cut MC's cheeks and kissed MC's forehead then pushed them gently back to the magical hole. I hope you'll forgive me. Huh? Farewell MC. Smiling. Karasu. MC woke up and found themselves on their bed. Huh? MC. MC. Are you okay? Do you feel any pain sweetie? MC. MC. Thank Diavolo you woke up. Did you see Karasu? What happened? Tell us. Hold on everyone. Mikas must be tired and need to get some rest. Give them some space. W what happened? MC. Did you meet Karasu? Who? Karasu. The crow guy. You mean the virtual assistant? Yes. What do you mean I meet him? He's right here in my DDD. Am I missing something here? MC. Do you remember anything from the last week? Yes. Levi bought my favorite game and we were playing it all the week. Then Lucifer punched me for my low marks. I think that Karasu did something to MC's memory. What do you mean? He erased everything about him from MC's memory. And why he would do that? To be honest, I don't know. Later at night. Everyone were asleep. Good night Karasu and thank you for helping me out doing my tasks. MC put their DDD down on the nightstand and went to sleep. Good night MC, I'm always here for you.